Alright guys and welcome to your 11th Android tutorial, no 12th, and today we are going to continue with our fragments, this, time, this episode we're going to get the activity showing and the fragment running, so the first thing we're going to actually need is a tablet, so we're going to create a new one, we're going to call it a tablet, uh, ICS, short for ice cream sandwich, we're going to put it API 15, we're going to change the resolution manually to 1280, 720 or 800 that's the common size for nearly all tablets create AVD and then we're going to start it launch there we go so as you can see our tablets now starting up it's a little bit big but we'll, we'll leave that starting now in the corner up here it's gonna take a while to start a big tablet like that, but we'll leave it running. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to make a change. I forgot about this last time, but we're just gonna cut that out and we're gonna put that in as a a class variable and keep it outside the methods because we're gonna need that view later on. So what we want to do is we want to make alternate resources this time. We want to make a, ver a special layout in the tablet that shows up or a special um, uh, layout for a new activity so or that layout new activity we're going to create an alternate version of new activity that will only show up for tablets so what we're going to do is we're going to go to res layout now we're going to create a new layout folder how do we create a new layout for oh yeah, yeah we open up our new act new activity let's open up just check this is yeah this is booting okay so we want to create new and we want the qualifiers to be, see what it says normal? Oh, bugger. We'll just X out that. Ah, yes, we need to select tablet here. So this new system I'm a little confused with, but see the way it look? That's what it looked like normally on a tablet. We're going to make the layout side by side. So create new, X large, and landscape. Okay. So now we have a new version of it called new activity. X lar layout X large land, which means landscape mode for extra large screens. Extra large tends to be between 7 and 10 inches in size. So, now that we have that running, that there, our new activity, Dan, I've just realized it's not actually new activity, the one we're supposed to, we're supposed to create main layout. Sorry about that, we'll just delete that out of there and we'll copy paste this into here, paste. Okay, so main activity layout, this one here, okay? So if we look, let's get rid of this. Now, you know, I'm gonna move, the screen has been moved over so you can see the um, properties for layout creation over here on the right. So we have our linear layout like this. That's fair enough. We want to wrap this in a container. And we're gonna call it linear layout horizontal. And um, we need an ID for the layout, so we're just going to call it main across. So linear layout vertical stacks things down horizontally down the way, or vertically, and horizontal obviously means stacks them side by side. Okay, so now we've got our new main layout across. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add our fragment in the actual active in the XML file itself. So we're going to get go down to layout fragment pop it in here and we're going to select our fragment which is called side fragment okay so now we've got our side fragment unfortunately it's not really showing up just because this is filling the whole screen so what we need to do is we need to highlight these two items and distribute weights evenly okay now we'll go back into our XML, we'll just make sure there's no corrections to be made. Yep, yeah. layout weight and our layout weight. So, what does layout weight exactly mean? Layout weight is when you set every, all the things, all the, um, if you have a load of buttons that say in a list, layout weight is how much of the screen in proportion it will take up to the others. So you'd set, let's say you had a stack of five buttons, you'd set all the buttons heights to zero dp or density pixel units and then set all the layout weights to one 
And what Android will do then is it will evenly space them all out. If you set, let's say, one of their layout weights to two, well then four of them will be the same size and the last one, or whichever one you set to two, will be double the size of the others. So as you can see, now that we've changed it, we've got our fragment and we've got our hello world. Now we can actually check a, check a preview layout which will let us see you know, approximately what we're going to see. It'll just let us preview the layout itself. But there is our fragment on one side and our layout on the other. That's very cool. And if we have a tablet in landscape mode, it'll show up main activity layout and this will show up side by side. That's very, very nice. Now the button, however, will still bring us to our next activity. Our, our new activity so we're gonna to have to alter that so if we just open up our main activity and main activity layouts here so we're gonna alter this to be um, yeah, set up main activity layout button on click now in our, our, we'll, we'll change it in the layout itself in main activity layout for this particular thing we're actually gonna disable the click property so if we find our button and our button on click method, if we delete that, actually you know we'll do we'll just say uh, a comment, toggle comment. So I'll make that into a comment in the XML file. Oh magically. Ah. Tell you what, we'll just bin it. It's just gonna cause problems commenting out that line. But if we look now, the button has been disabled. In other words, if you press it, it won't do anything. But if we change our layout to the portrait orientation one you can see it still has the button click property and if we change it to the extra large one it doesn't that means that if we click the XML or if we click the button in the la large mode it won't do anything because we don't need it to do anything so our tablet is still booting oh my god this is gonna take a while so what, now that we've got this running we're actually going to we're actually going to do uh, get the functionality of this fragment up and running because all we have it doing is displaying a view. So how do we make it do stuff? Well, if we go to our new activity, we have all of our code and buttons and stuff here. Yes, we have all this add comment view v, and if you click this button, it would hit add comment. Now, when you have a fragment buttons in fragments do not use the um, don't use the on click property you have to remove that from it so the fragment so we have to open up our new activity XML which is what our fragment is using new activity and we have to disable this okay we have to disable this and alter our code to handle it. So if we go down to button, yep, yeah, on click, add comment. We need to remove that. Because this button is now in a fragment, we need to get rid of it. Because if we don't get rid of it, it's just going to cause absolute hell. Because when you click this comment button, the, the, the method has to be in the container activity for it to work. It just doesn't work if you do that on click system. You have to go through the button set on click listener. So that's what we'll do. We'll set her on click listener. So I'm going to say button, button, and button comment we'll call it. Equals button. Remember how we have to ID, get the ID? Now, in a fragment, if you look, if you think about it, when you have an activity, you can just say find view by ID for that activity. But the fragment is actually a little bit different. Whoops. How fragments work is you have to look in the view that you inflated. This is the same if let's say you wanted to change the view on a menu icon, you inflate a view on it. Or if you want to change, if you want to uh, in add, an, add a linear layout programmatically, you inflate that linear layout. So if we want to find a child view inside the fragment view that we've inflated, we actually have to say view for our view that we inflated dot find view by ID or dot ID dot comment now that's just a wild guess if that's the actual uh, view but we can easily check by just clicking main activity layout now what the devil has happened 
What are you doing up there, window? Okay, so I looked up the button and it's actually button one. We never change its ID, so we'll just leave it as button one. The ID that's assigned to it normally. Now, you do, that actually reminds me. Uh, obviously when a layout returns, the code underneath it is not going to be reached. So the return view has to be at the bottom of this. Okay, so we're going to say comment dot set on click listener new on click listener tum tum usual stuff we add our bracket colon and oh, I didn't spell it right add our on click view Okay, so now we have our on click. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to copy paste some code out of our new activity, this this comment code here, because there's no need to have to run the same code twice. Okay. Now obviously we need to add our view dot find property, because otherwise we're not going to find any views at all. It's, it'll just it, it gives us errors, and even if we got rid of those errors, it would just give us a null pointer and exception. It would crash the app. Okay, so as you can see, our tablet is now up and running. Okay, so it's going to be very slow, the emulator is, but we're going to run our apps and run and see what happens. Run. Oh, bugger. Where is the error now? Oh. What? Oh. Ah, we never found our. Uh, yeah, one of our text views is missing. How did that even happen? Name. There we go, just, just double check that our that, that is our name. Let's check our new activity. No, let's call name in and the text view is called name, yep. So everything's ready to go. We press run. The emulator uh, booted up. So if we do our control F11, or we'll actually we'll start the app. We're we'll install it first. And as you know, you can use control F11 to rotate the emulator. Let's give it a second to actually rotate. Um, I'm trying to work on getting faster emulators for you guys so you can see the performance. But the best thing to have for development is an Android phone. Get the USB drivers hook it up and it'll just automatically install straight to your phone you've had to test it as if you're using it which is amazing to be quite honest okay so it's starting up and as you can see we have our action bar across the top which looks amazing as soon as the thing clicks And we also have our thing. So if we press press me, okay? Oh bugger. I mean for the keyboard to come up. So if I press press me, nothing happens. Now if I rotate the emulator, and let the configuration change, because look, it just shows up this screen because our layout port XLAN folder is not used, it's a portrait version, so that's been barred. So now it's going to our layout port folder, to where if you press press me, it brings up the other thing. And the hello, the hello world isn't getting passed in. Uh, I'll explain you know why that is, but as you can see, our fragment is now doing its job. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start working on the next part of the fragments itself. Now the third part of fragments will be adding fragments programmatically to a layout.